Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 224. I spent some time today creating a custom pivot table to track the PQRS initiative and progress towards maintenance and build charges that qualified and all that good stuff. If a pivot table would help you track your PQRS stuff, let's talk. Easy video today. We've spent a bunch of time on oh all the different print area kind of things here. We've been able to change print area and do page breaks and stuff like that. But wouldn't it be easy, it's just easier to deal with if you had a print margin here and just kind of dragged it and now my print margin's there? Or, you know, I like that, but, you know, I wish I had the total in here. Rather go back and change the print area. Wouldn't it be easier to just drag that and create something like that? Or wouldn't it be easier to kind of drag down and include these additional doctors or something like that? This view that I have set up here that makes changing my print area and my print margins, like that, say, so much easier is called page break pre preview it's in the view tab normal looks like this and when you're done you can come back to normal and there's kind of those dashed lines we're used to seeing page break pre preview does two things for you it makes it really easy to change the area that you're going to print so if I had to go out to column U, say I just drag that out and Excel automatically says look Nate this is page one two three four five and six and it's easy to see where the page breaks would be and if I drag this out and put this one over here, Excel says, all right, if you're going to make that page one this big, then page three is going to be that big. It's easy to simply drag and drop and get the margins exactly where you want. And the other thing you can do is you could drag all the way to, let's say, here and say, no, I don't want any of that stuff. And I'm going to drag this to here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll drag the print margin or the, the page break, excuse me, all the way to there. And... I've essentially dragged my way to a one-page document and if we come back over to page layout and we come over oh let's look at uh, oops I clicked on um, sheet where I want to go is right here to scaling to the page menu and you can see that Excel says hey no problem Nate you want this sheet to fit you know this many rows this many columns fit on all, all in one page no problem I'll automatically shrink it for you and do that scaling thing to 65 percent. Remember you can find scaling here or down here at the bottom custom scaling get to that same area custom scale oops custom scaling options get to that 65 percent by using from the view tab page break preview it was just easy to drag and drop and say no 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 I guess what I really want is that and you know instead of that now we're going to come back and print and we'll go to um, the custom scaling options and says 65 what we can do is Excel's not really good at changing it back so you can go back to 100 and then let's go back just to home and we'll just do this and drag it back and then Excel will come back over this time I'll go at it this way page layout and we'll go here and it's 89 is the magic percent so again if you go back and change things Excel's not if you, it'll change it the first time it'll get you 89 percent if I go back and tweak this and add this a whole lot more this way, a whole lot more that way, I'm going to have to go set it back to 100 and, and have it recalculate. But it's a very quick way to change your print margins. Or excuse me, not your print margins. I said that wrong. Your print area. The, the range of your spreadsheet. Hey, look, I'm only want to print through May. No problem. I want to print everything. No problem. And it's easy to play with page break or, yeah, page breaks as well. Page, the print area on the page and the page breaks are very easy to change and they're both right here on the view tab in page break preview. I know we're supposed to be yeah, you know, looking at printing stuff and we'll come back and look at page setup next time. I just wanted you to see how easy life is with page break preview. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.